Right guys and there, welcome to my channel. Right today I want to do a quite a short video. I want to be putting this battery down to zero volts for over the course of a week. We'll do a capacity test after that week to see if we've actually done any damage to this battery. Now in my previous video, I was trying to charge this battery, or I was charging this battery at below minus 20 temperatures to see if we got any lithium plating going on. I charged it and discharged it so many times I lost count. And funny enough, I will still get the same capacity every time. Now I won't talk about that too much in this video, but I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in seeing this battery being charged and charged and discharged at minus temperatures. Now with this battery here we normally do a disconnect at two and a half volts that is done by these BMS's do a high and low voltage disconnect and as well as temperatures high and low temperature disconnects to look after these. But I'll be doing something without we using a BMS I'll be using my power supply unit here setting to 3.6 volts and I know when this is fully charged because it will tell me when the current stops going in. And to do a capacity test, I'll be using my trusty capacity tester here. Well, I actually left, um, I'll be leaving this battery connected to this battery capacity tester over the course of the week, just to make sure it's constantly being drawn and I'm constantly getting the nearest damn it zero volts as possible. So anyway, guys, that's enough of me yippy yapping and uh, let's get on and uh, do this test. Now I've just finished doing a capacity test of this little battery here. And you can see I stopped at 2.5 volts. That's the capacity voltage I will stop at. And you can see here it's 11.7 amp hours, which is 0.3 of an amp hour more when I first tested this battery. I'm putting that down to it being quite warm where I'm testing this today. It's a very hot day here in the UK. So I'll explain why I maybe have a little bit over my original capacity test. So as you can see here, I've not had any effect of this battery whatsoever while having it basically almost at zero volts uh, for the last week. Now I did say I was going to keep this video short which I am going to. So I got this idea really of doing these tests was because I had these little batteries well bigger versions 100 amp hours and uh, we were doing some minus charging in the power wall over Christmas and kind of when it was frosty here in the UK and I was worried that I'd actually damage the battery. So Doing these little tests and sticking this in the freezer, I kind of indicate that I haven't probably done any damage to the batteries in the shed. The heater in the shed is now up and running, keeping the batteries warm when it's cold. Now, keeping these at minus temperatures, I'd imagine, sorry, zero degree air volts, that it will damage these batteries time after time, but only over a course of a week. I've noticed that I haven't actually done particularly hardly any damage to this battery, if any. But I'm not saying it will, this is only a little test. This is not obviously a proper scientific test. I'm using bits here that aren't scientifically calibrated, etc., etc. So this, remember, guys, this is only a little test. So I don't want no keyboard warriors saying etc., etc. You know. So in my next video, I want to be taking this battery apart of a scalpel and look inside. We'll make sure it's completely you no know, voltage inside. I don't want any thermal runaway, shortening out, and catching fire. So if you're interested in that video, please like and subscribe, guys. It's appreciated hard. Helps this little channel grow and helps me fight those YouTube algorithms. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.